Actually don't look orange today that's cool what's poppin fam it's your boy jay sala and today is a very interesting episode of canon culture uh there's nothing pop related that i wanted to talk about as of the time of recording this video so i'm actually doing it early um but i did want to talk about the newest assassin's creed so uh there was a teaser trailer clip thing that ubisoft revealed on uh twitter let me give some backstory to this because a lot of people are asking you boys since i'm the you know the local Ubisoft guy. <laughs> I don't know why that's that's what people call me. Probably because I just play a lot of their games. Um, so this is all I know is that uh, essentially the new Assassin's Creed was originally leaked because of a GameStop employee that had taken a picture of a keychain that said Assassin's Creed Odyssey on it. And it had the, I guess you would consider that Greek Roman helmet or whatever. So that was that was leaked. And so people knew there was already going to be an Assassin's Creed game coming. I usually throw my opinion in at the end, but I feel like it's needed for this video. I can understand if Assassin's Creed doesn't come out for another year. I, I, I don't want it to. I don't need it to. As far as I know, this is the Unity team that is doing it because the Black Flag Origins team, which is run by Ashraf Ismail, uh, he said on Twitter that he is actually not a part of the project in any way, shape or form, but he will be at E3 this year. Um, I don't think he's gonna be the one to announce it cause he's not the director of this game. So I wouldn't imagine he'd be there uh, for that conference specifically. But as far as I know, uh, if it's not his team that was working on it, then it's probably a different team. Now, the problem I have with this game is, number one, it feels like it's a little too soon. Number two, they should have just taken the entire year to drop Watch Dogs and uh, Assassin's Creed. They just should have just left them out. Just leave them out, both out. Let them take a year off, you know. They're supposed to show Splinter Cell this year. I know Sam Fisher's coming back for something. Uh, Blacklist was dope, but I just really would have liked to see like this be focused on other games that weren't their like heavy hitters or develop a new ip that would have been cool um i would have liked to see skull and bones show up uh again this year for e3 um just to show off like more of the multiplayer because a lot of the stuff that they showed last year was very kind of like not necessarily staged because i see ubisoft is trying to do this thing for the past two years they've been really trying to like be on this raw gameplay thing when they need to not do that because when they have these scripted events and stuff it shows the game at its maximum potential whereas when they try to do everything live it makes certain things dull like i remember when they were trying to show off assassin's creed origins at like one of their at like the ube3 party or whatever and it was literally this guy who seemed like he had not played the game at all uh, because it's just the items that he had at his disposal and the way he was kind of creeping around this camp was just like horrible. I don't know to understand why you would do the things that this guy did. Um, also, it really just seems like whenever developers play games, it's almost like they don't know how to play the game, which I know is not the case, but like you could have showed a little bit more badass stuff. Basically what I'm saying is Ubisoft, you need to bring me on. Okay. Because I can just pick up anything and play it. Okay. That's, that's all I'm saying. But, um, Jokes aside, as far as I know, Ubisoft is really, really trying to hammer home on other titles this year. I mean, there's The Crew, there's uh, Splinter Cell, uh, where's the new Rayman game? Can we get that? That'd be really cool. Like, I, I just really want to see them kind of build outside of their heavy hitters. And so, you know, a new Tom Clancy game would be cool if it was like Tom Clancy Future Soldier. Like, I, I, like Ghost Recon, uh what was that last one that came out that wildlands okay so wildlands i didn't really play because i expected future soldier and as playing like like as i was playing the game i was just not having fun and this was like back in the beta and then i ended up picking it up like for a little bit and i had to get a refund on the game it was just it's just boring it's nothing to do i would also like to see some rainbow six siege stuff that would be really cool like that would be different like ubisoft needs to be different this year not like I understand like you got to confirm sales and you got to get people hyped for certain games and stuff so you know it like builds up momentum and marketing and blah 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 that's great and everything but as far as public opinion 
Ubisoft is really just the Assassin's Creed like like anchor. Like the, like they're just cranking that shit out. Like it's just not supposed to be that way. So I'm a little disappointed uh, in that regard to even see Assassin's Creed. Uh, I would have been disappointed to see Watch Dogs 3 show up because number one, like Origins was such a good game. Like it was so refreshing. Like it's not often, I mean, really like the best Assassin's Creed game before Origins was Brotherhood. At least to me, it was Brotherhood. Um, the funnest was Black Flag. So this really just took all of like the fun shit in Black Flag and put it in Egypt. And like there was a couple of things that were taken out that I didn't really care for. And there was a couple of things that were put in that I didn't really care for. Like the the go and secure hostages type of thing where you have to go into a camp and pick up a crippled guy and like escort them out. Like a lot of those escort missions were boring as shit. Um, mission diversity was not something that was like prevalent in this game at all. So hopefully, uh, this new game, I just, I just really want it to just not, ooh, just, just not tarnish what Assassin's Creed Origins has built so far. So I really just hope it takes the formula of Origins and everything there and just builds on top of it like they did for Assassin's Creed 2 to go into Assassin's Creed Brotherhood or even from Assassin's Creed 1 to AC2. Like those gaps were just tremendous leaps in gameplay. So I'm, I'm just eh, kind of, uh, I don't know. I'm a little iffy about it, but I can't wait to see Splinter Cell. I hope we get like a blacklist type of thing, except I want it to be more like double agent, but then again, blacklist was really I just want the whole game to be co-op. I want literally everything to be co-op. So, I mean, you know, it, it is what it is. And I also didn't pick up Far Cry 5 this year. So, I don't really have much to stand on as far as talking about that game. So, I I, I don't know. I, I, this this year's E3 is, is looking kind of... Um, I don't know. But I wanted to just take the time today to actually sit and talk about the Ubisoft portions of everything. Because as far as I know, it's going to be a little... A little lackluster i mean as far as e3 goes for the past couple of years it's been pretty safe like there's not there hasn't been a whole lot of stuff that was like shown that really like blew a lot of people's minds like maybe like some things but i'm expecting like a whole lot more from ubisoft i just really want them to do the best that they can and i feel like a lot of their issues is not listening to their communities i mean they Oh, excuse me. They listen to a certain extent, but not a whole lot. Not as much as I would like them to. Like, let's say, for example, The Division 2. We don't need a Division 2. Just fix the first game. Like, there's a lot of stuff within the first game that is just, like, still, to this day, not fun to play. Like, the player base has died down. Like, a lot of the, the incursions and missions and stuff like that. After a certain amount of time, like, the bullet sponging was just really boring. And there was tons of things that they could have added to that game in order to fix it. So, what I think a lot of companies need to do, specifically Ubisoft, is when they're creating a game like this, like, like the way they're developing Rainbow Six Siege I think is dope, because it takes the idea of something like Overwatch, or even, we'll just throw it out there, Fortnite. Like, the fact that there are so many updates, so many events, things like that, like, Ubisoft needs to get into, let's create a quality game, it doesn't necessarily even have to be multiplayer. You could do a single player. Like I would have loved to see six more DLC packs, like a season two come out for Assassin's Creed Origins, just because of how much in that game was fun to play. Like it was just dope. And maybe that's just me in particular because I love Assassin's Creed Origins and it has a place in my heart, both the settings, the characters, the interactions, just everything about that game just speaks to me individually. So I'm a little biased in that regard, but I mean, that's just me. If I could buy more DLC, if I could could, like pay for more stuff except for those shitty ass costume packs I, I, I don't really really fuck with those like they were outside the season pass like why not just make the season pass and boom like say if you want to come out with all these additional costumes and stuff make a costume pack it's like 19.99 and it comes with all 10 of these fucking things that you guys just jammed into the game like i, I never understood why that was a thing that they were just coming out with stuff that you could buy with Helix credits, which is basically just buying loot boxes or paying for uh, microtransaction currency. And it's just like, these are like five, six, seven dollars a costume for like weapon sets and stuff. And like you got a new horse or a new camel or a new outfit and a new weapon, or I think it was like multiple weapons. So it was really just like a pack. And it's just like, okay, 
why not just lump them all together and uh, together and give us like a costume season pass I, I don't know like do something like that but anyway the point i was originally trying to make is that they need to create a game that is going to sustain life for quite a bit of time and i feel like the division could have been that i feel like the division 2 could be that i felt like uh the crew the crew 2 these games could do that like having these regular updates and events and things that involve the community much like how rainbow six siege does could really like sustain life and just keep constantly bringing in new revenue but the thing about developing overwatch is that their team is the size that it is to continuously work on this one game so but then again there's also the world of warcraft team there's also the destiny 2 team which is part of activision which i guess blizzard is technically a part of so I, there's just so many things that blizzard has going on that they ha still have time to hire new people and focus on overwatch and i think that is just something that they do the best in the industry right next to epic games and fortnite the amount of like updates and changes that i think it's almost like on a weekly basis fortnite has like some type of update some type of tweak so i'm not saying saying ubisoft needs to charge for these things i'm saying is like pick a game and stick to it and let that game be like home base almost like i, I would i would find it really cool if they would go back to assassin's creed multiplayer and just make a multiplayer assassin's creed game that would be really dope i mean i don't think a game like that would survive on its own it would have to be like unless the multiplayer was really good like it'd have to be like last of us level good so in that regard i think i would have to say maybe like come up with another game outside of rainbow six siege i mean assassin's creed multiplayer would be dope but you know that's just me personally um the crew let's let's take the crew in the division just add random updates drop new new guns into the game drop a gun customization drop a car customization drop new new uh like it, like like areas to mountain ranges and stuff like that like there's just plenty of things that you can do to just add like small little subtle updates to keep the community happy and then have larger events that occur every now and then much like how overwatch has their anniversary edition their halloween their christmas event you know stuff like that their summer games so they just have all of these updates that are constantly coming in in between the the times where it's just like major update major update let's put an event in here so I just think that's something that Ubisoft should consider doing, but I mean, to each their own, what the fuck do I know? I just play their games, but um, that's that's gonna be it for this Ubisoft portion of this video. I'm gonna make a couple more videos talking about E3 specifically, um, especially like some of the leaks and stuff. So I'm gonna make sure to include a link down in the description if I make that video and put it out before this one. I, I don't know, but I guess this wasn't really an episode of Canon Culture. So this is this is really just like a Canon Culture specific, like a cultural, gaming cultural specific thing. I don't know what the fuck to call it. Anyway, give this video a like if you guys enjoyed it. If you guys dislike the video, make sure to scroll down to the comment section. Let me know why. Uh, leave a comment on, on you guys' just overall opinion of Ubisoft. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. This has been your boy Jay Sama, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Make sure to keep it canon.